luck may be the most mysterious and capricious force in the universe. But what exactly is luck? Why do some of us win the lottery twice, while others have bad luck for no apparent reason? What's behind strange coincidences and incredible twists of fate? Does random chance decide our destiny? Or is every roll of the dice predetermined by physics? Scientists are trying to beat the odds to prove whether or not luck is real. Space, time, life itself. The secrets of the cosmos lie through the wormhole. How did you get to where you are today? Maybe you struggled and worked hard. Or maybe you inherited a fortune and never worked a day in your life. Some things are beyond our control. Does the universe have a plan for us? Or is our fate the product of random chance? Do we make our own luck? Or does luck make us? When I was growing up, kids would carry a lucky rabbit's foot. For some reason, we believed these severed paws granted their bearers good fortune. Did they work? Well, maybe. I lost that rabbit's foot long ago and my belief in lucky charms. But perhaps my younger self was onto something. Go to a casino and you'll see any number of superstitious rituals performed by players hoping for good luck. Everyone has a strategy. First, I do a dead vomya, which is an Armenian prayer. And then I play my son's birth numbers. The chips all have to face up the same way. Rituals of good luck develop because we believe that something we do can influence chance. Physicist Christopher Fuchs is one of the prime movers behind quantum Bayesianism, or cubism. Cubists believe quantum mechanics has uncovered the fundamental system of luck that underlies the universe. If we didn't have quantum theory, we wouldn't have transistors. We wouldn't have lasers. We wouldn't have CCD cameras in our cell phones. So here's this wonderful theory that's responsible for everything that we have in our modern society. And at the foundation of it all, we learn the things that it can make predictions about always have an element of chance to them. For decades, physicists have dealt with this built-in element of chance by using the Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation is an equation that tells you how to update your probabilities with time. The Schrodinger equation is a guide to how you should be changing your probabilities for what you might see. The Schrodinger equation gives you the probabilities of how a quantum system, say, a bunch of particles, will change over time. But it can never tell you something with 100% certainty. From the point of view of quantum Bayesianism, the quantum state is actually nothing more than a collection of probabilities for all things that you might see in a laboratory. Quantum states are statements of how you should gamble when you cross the street or when you have an operation, anything. It all meshes together. This is the heart of the quantum debate. Whether or not quantum physics is a complete description of the universe or just an approximate tool we use to describe the world because we don't understand what's going on at its deepest level. Many physicists like to imagine 
they can look through the probabilistic world of quantum mechanics and see the deepest workings of the universe. But Chris contends it is impossible to see the universe objectively. Science cannot describe nature, only our knowledge of it. The stuff that is most real in the world is the stuff that cannot be captured by an equation. Chris feels we can never see what lies beneath quantum mechanics and luck itself because we can't step outside of the universe. We're part of the equation. All we have are guesses based on our limited knowledge. You use your experience and your knowledge to make a probability assignment, and it may be different than mine. The key idea behind Bayesian probability theory is that neither one of us is right. We're both making our gambles based on what we've seen and what beliefs we've brought into a certain situation. For instance, Chris is a mathematician. He knows a good deal about probability, but unlike the other players here, he knows next to nothing about blackjack and doesn't know a good bet from a bad one. The way the players play is affected by their unique knowledge and perspective. There is no absolute universal view of the game. Chris believes the same is true of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics gave us the tools to split the atom and power the computer revolution. But at its core, it is a calculus of chance. It is a matter of luck. A quantum state is a statement of uncertainty. Uncertainty full stop. Now, uncertainty can arise because you don't know everything that you might have known. Or uncertainty might arise just because the world itself hasn't decided what it's going to do until the moment it happens. Quantum states are uncertainty more like that. The world itself doesn't know what it's going to do. How can I know what it's going to do? I make my best gambles. And to Chris, that's a good thing. It means our destinies are uncertain. Even at the quantum level, luck is always a factor. But because we are part of the equation, our choices make a difference. The lesson of quantum mechanics is that the world isn't simply a rigid, dead block of ice. It is a world with chance and indeterminism. It's a world with a certain amount of wiggle room. And what we do in this world makes a difference. The world would have been otherwise if I had taken different actions. It makes life worth living. But the relationship of luck to quantum physics is anything but a universally agreed upon point. Physicists have argued about the true nature of quantum uncertainty for over a century. And today, those debates are more heated than ever.